Today, let's learn something about the Ghost DB Data Dictionary and uh, the basic about uh, system catalogs and the system reviews included in it. A data dictionary stores information about a database system and uh, all the objects in the database. It's the foundation of a database system and describes how a database is operated and managed. A GhostDB data dictionary includes system catalogs and the system reviews. System catalogs store structure metadata of a database and are crucial to a database. They are the source of information used by a database to control system operations. System reviews provide ways to query system catalogs and the internal database data. System catalogs and the system reviews are visible to either administrators or all users. It's not recommended to modify system catalogs and system reviews, and usually users don't have permission to do so. Here are naming rules for GhostDB system catalogs and system reviews. Existing or new system catalogs and system reviews have prefixes like PG, PGXC, or GS. And Oracle-compatible system catalogs and uh, system reviews have prefixes like uh, on, database, user, or PV. Let's take a closer look at uh, the naming rules for GhostDB system views. Each prefix has a specific meaning. For example, my indicates a view that contains information about all schema objects owned by the current database user. DB indicates a view that contains information about all schema objects that um, the current user has permissions to exercise. And ADM indicates a view that contains information about all database objects, but only users with DBA role or system administrator permissions can exercise this view. The table below lists some system reviews. Now let's move on to some common system catalogs. PG database records database metadata. There is an OID field in this catalog, which represents an object ID. Each data object in the catalog is assigned an object ID, which is a 4-byte unsigned integer and usually a hidden attribute. Other fields in this catalog include date name, encoding, date can limit, date compatibility, and GhostDB is compatible with Oracle, MySQL, Teradata, and the PostgreSQL database. And A indicates compatibility with Oracle databases. Let's take a look at two examples. The first one shows a template database. In GhostDB, when you create a new database, you copy one of two default templates, template zero or template one. Template zero doesn't allow user connections, while template one does. If template one is damaged, it can be restored by copying template zero again. In this example, the value of encoding is UTF-8, the value of data is template is T, which indicates the database can be used as a template database. The value of data can limited is minus one, which indicates the number of connection is not limited. The value of data compatibility is A, which indicates the GhostDB is compatible with Oracle database. The second figure shows an example for using PG database to check if a database is a template and uh, if it can be connected to. PG namespace records schema-related information. There are OID and namespace name in this catalog. 
followed by namespace owner and namespace ACL. For details about namespace ACL, see grant and revoke in developer guide. The figure on the right shows an example of querying all schemas. In this example, the value of OID is 11. The value of namespace name is PG catalog, indicating the schema of the data dictionary. The value of namespace owner is 10, indicating the initial user. And then there is namespace ACL, where U stands for usage and C stands for create. A table space represents actual physical storage space on a disk. PG table space records table space information. It contains fields such as OID, space name, space ACL, and the space max size. The figure on the right shows the details about the two default table space. If maximum size is empty, the maximum size is of the table space is not limited. As mentioned in another course, database object, GhostDB creates two table spaces by default, PG default and PG global. You can directly query the table space from the catalog. Space owner indicates the ID of the creator. PG class is a frequently used system catalog. It records information of almost all database objects, such as a uh, normal table, index, and sequence. Its key fields include OID, row name, owner, row can, where R indicates an ordinary table or normal table, and I indicates an index, and so on. And the row tuples, which represents the number of row in a table. It's important to note that the value of row tuples is an estimate. If one row in a table contains large amount of data, for example, greater than 2 KB, it will be stored in a toaster table. Row toaster table row ID indicates the OID of the toaster table associated with the table. If there is no toaster table, the value of row toaster row ID is zero. The toaster table stores large column of line in a secondary table. This page shows an example of querying data table name, comments, and the number of records in each table from PG class. PG tab records information about the data tabs. In addition to OID and the tab name, pay attention to the following fields, tab, tab learn, tab by value, and tab tab. Tab learn indicates the learn. Its value is the number of bytes in the internal representation of the tab for a fixed size tab, and is minus one for a variable length type. Tab by value indicates whether to pass a value or a reference. For example, the int tab is passed by value, and the varchar tab is passed by reference. Tab tab indicates which type the current type belongs to. For example, the letter B represents a basic type, while C represents a composite type. Here, let's look at the comparison between the basic chart type and the custom campfo type. The figure on the right shows a composite data type. The type learn value for char is one, indicating a fixed size type, while that for campfo is minus one, indicating a variable length type. The value type by value for char is t, indicating this tab is passed by value, while that for campful is f, indicating this tab is passed by reference. The value of tab tab for char is b, indicating a basic type.
where that for example is C indicating a composite type. PG attribute records information about table columns. When a table is created, PG attribute defines the name and types of each column in the table. Attribute type ID corresponds to the OID recorded in the previous PG type catalog. The figure on the right shows an example of querying information about the column I in a table whose OID is 32430. You can view the detailed information about the column. Okay, let's go to the PG index catalog, which records information about the indexes created in the system. As you can see, most of the value in this cat in this catalog, uh, such as the one controlling whether an index is unique or primary key, and uh, these columns are of of the Boolean type. Index information is also stored in PG class catalog, which contains even more useful information. And this catalog stores some key information. The figure on the right shows a simple example. The value of int n address is 1, indicating there is one column in the index. The value of int is unique and int is primary are both if, indicating the index is neither unique index nor a primary key. PJXC node records information about the cluster nodes. It has a specific meaning only in distributed scenarios. This catalog is also identified by OID, followed by node name and then node tab. C indicates a CN, D indicates a DN, and I indicates a standard by DN. Node, node port and the node host indicate the port number and uh, IP address. Node is active indicates whether a CN is normal. T indicates that the CN is normal, and I indicates that the CN has been removed. The figure shows a record that is directly curated from, uh, from the catalog through a select statement. This record includes important information such as the host, port, and the type. In distribute a scenario, there is also the concept of a node group. A node group contains the OID list of all nodes, that is group members, which is used to query the node list of a group. PJXC class records distributed information for each table. It has a specific meaning only in distributed scenarios. This catalog is also identified by OID. There are several distribution types available, including hash, range, list, and republication. If a hash distribution is used, the hash algorithm and hash value are also included. PJXC slice records range distribution and list distribution. And uh, the strategy indicates whether the table is a range or list distribution table. Here are examples of a PJXC class and the PJXC slice queries. There is a distributed table with list distribution, which is queried in PJXC class. The value of the second column is L, indicating list distribution. And PG group is a group name. Information about the warehouse is queried in PG slice. The distribution strategy is L, indicating list distribution. The OID of the table is file 1, file 0, 7, that is the OID in PJXC class. Next, let's look at some common system views. 
PJ rules provides access to information about the database rules, initial user and users within sysadmin or create role attributes can view information about all rules. Other users can view only their own information. This catalog contains some uh, Boolean field that determine whether the rule has these permissions, such as um, the field of uh, uh, controlling whether the role can log into database, whether the role is an added administrator. The figure shows an example of uh, querying information about the DM user role from a select state statement. PJ states provides exercise to single column statistic stored in PG statistic. It contains some statistic, such as the average width in best of columns entry. This table is often used to op optimize uh, execution plans. And the PG state activity displays the current row query of um, an instant. It display a server process and uh, describes the user sessions and query associated with the server process. It is used to query existing information of the current uh, uh, process, such as the thread ID, a session ID, and the username or user ID of a login session. This will is often used to locate a fault, for example, to locate a slow CQ statement. The value of state in PJ state activity can be active or idle. You can check database connection on the server by query this view, and you can monitor and maintain the database. You can check user, uh, check a client to host this and check the number of connections and the number of active connections. You can also check for slow SQL statements. This figure shows an example for querying the thread start time, transaction start time, SQL start time, and the status change time of an event. PG thread wait status allows you to view the block waiting status about the backend thread and uh, other worker thread of the current instance. The table here contains thread status information. Wait status, status indicates the detailed information about the uh, waiting status of the current thread. Wait event indicates the events that um, current thread is waiting for. It also can contain the database the current thread belongs to. The table on the left lists the wait status, and the none indicates no waiting. Wait IO indicates the thread is waiting for IO uh, completion. That is, uh, there may be an ongoing Disk read task, for example, scheduling a configuration from the disk to the memory. Wait command indicates the thread is waiting for reading is waiting for reading network uh, communication packets. It may also be waiting for locking. The table on the right lists types of a waiting event. To sum up, we have learned some common system catalogs and uh, system reviews. Each of these has its own set of fields and information. And you can view these um, catalogs and views when necessary. That's all for today. Thank you.